Okay, the next special limit we're going to look at involving trig functions is this one here. Limit is theta goes to zero, one minus cosine of theta over theta, that's going to go to zero. Again, you, we can find this by looking at a graph or we can look at tables. As the theta approaches zero for this one, the whole thing approaches zero. I should note that this limit only works if your theta is in radians. Your theta must be in radians in order for this one to be true. And like I mentioned before with the sine, there's other types of properties you can apply to this one. For instance, your, uh, as long as your, these two k values are the same top and bottom, that means that would get you the same thing, you would still get a zero. Or if you have squares on top and bottom, that works the same way as well. So we're gonna apply that to this particular problem. Now for this problem, I can't just automatically put zero down because these do not match. You have to show algebraically how the top and bottom ones are gonna match. So we're gonna do the same similar technique that we did before for the previous example. We wanna get a three theta down below this one. So I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by one over three theta. By doing that, that's automatically gonna get the correct thing, the k values are going to match each other and we'll be able to apply that limit. So multiplying top and bottom by that, you're, on top you're going to have 1 minus cosine 3 theta over 3 theta on the bottom. 6 over 3, that's going to give you a 2. And top fraction divided by the bottom one means that there's a 1 half that will come out in that case. So I can write it this way, I can put a 1 half out in front of the limit and then now what I have left is something where I can apply the special limit. I can apply that because I have the k values are now the same. So that means that this whole part here is going to automatically go to zero, which means that zero is going to be the answer to the whole thing. So again, um, I don't want to just go ahead and put equal zero down. I have to show some work showing how I can manipulate it to equal zero by applying the special properties and the limit rules. So I did that here. Again, zero is the final answer.